and gentlemen, please welcome network developer, IBM Cloud, Nate Newton, and technical leader, engineering, Cisco, Mike Wiebe. Hi, good morning everybody. I'm uh, Nate Newton. I'm a NetTools engineer in the networking tribe for IBM Cloud. I'm uh, responsible for providing solutions uh, you know, whether that's homegrown custom scripts or out of the box solutions like SaltStack for our network engineers to kind of facilitate them and ease the uh, operational load and enhance their effectiveness at work. Um, if you're not already familiar with IBM Cloud, we are one of the largest cloud providers out there. Uh, we offer a suite of cloud computing services from IBM that includes uh, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, and uh, with IBM's cloud infrastructure as a service, organizations can deploy, access, virtualized IT, so you know, your compute, your storage, your VMs, your containers, network, over the internet, on demand. Awesome. My name is Mike Wiebe. I actually work for Cisco. Um, I'm not in the San Jose location. I'm actually based out of RTP, North Carolina, so if you're not familiar with where that is, just go find Hurricane Florence, and it's basically right there. So. Um, but my team, I actually lead a small engineering team. We're responsible for uh, uh, basically extending open source technology like Salt Open to work with our NXOS uh, data center switches. So back to you, Nate. All right, so I'd like to talk a little bit about what we work with. Uh, if I could get the next slide. Um, the infrastructure, kind of the complexity and the scale that I work with. We have. Uh, 80 plus sites, uh, you know, data centers and pops around the world with uh, 60, well actually it's really closer to 70,000, just switches and routers. And it's, a, it's kind of a massive scale that we're supporting with a team of, you know, about 12, 13 people, um, which if you're interested, we are actually looking to expand that team. Uh, it's a little small, so we need some help um, because of the complexity and the you know, heterogeneous nature, hetero, that's a hard word. Anyway, bunch of different devices. We work with, you know, majority of them, Cisco, uh, using the NOXS operating system, some iOS. Uh, if you look hard enough, you'll find some Catalyst, uh, you know, maybe some pictures out there. And then, you know, we also have some devices from Arista and Juniper there as well. So when Nate and SaltStack approached us, they said, you know, we want to be able to run the native, the minion on box, right directly on the NXOS device. And so I started looking at what it would oh. take to enable the device on box. And I realized that there was actually already existing technologies there. But we wanted to look at how we could actually streamline, re-architect the code to um, extend the capabilities and to also make it easier to add new execution modules uh, salt states, grains, beacons, and then also provide a kind of natural integration point with napalm capabilities, to be able to run napalm capabilities on box and not necessarily just over a proxy minion. And so in today's breakout session, you will see a little bit more about some of the hosting technologies we have. We have a secure guest shell. We've also enabled Docker support in, in recent uh, Nexus uh, images. And so it provides kind of a natural way to integrate third-party applications like uh, the salt minion directly on box. But then also, um, I'm going to detail a little bit more about what we did in terms of the re-architecture and streamlining the code base to make it easier to extend salt state capabilities to manage NXOS data center switches. Okay, so how is that relevant to us? Uh, you know, I mentioned our scale and kind of the complexity, and that's been a challenge, you know, because we're a small team. Uh, we're really good at building data centers. You know, we have homegrown automation that allows us to do that pretty effectively and uh, succinctly, and that's great, but then there's the next day, and we don't really have any full-scale automation to take care of those data centers after we've built them. So we're kind of running into problems of you know, severely lagging code and you know, config drift, and, you know, along with the general problems of maintaining 60, 70,000 devices with 12 people mostly manually. Uh, so about a year ago, we reached a tipping point uh, we needed to find the solution to help us, you know, get rid of this mounting network maintenance backlog that we have. And uh, so we made some inroads with custom scripts, kind of whatever the engineer was you know, 
familiar with. There's some Python, PHP, Bash scripts, you know, a little C out there. Um, and that's fine, and it got us a good start, but we needed to be more proactive. We needed a way to maintain a stateful network, and uh, in our investigations of uh, software that could do that, SaltStack came out on top. Uh, we were really drawn to it because it's an event-driven orchestration engine, and uh, that gives us a lot and kind of goes the farthest in getting everything into one package for what we need to do. And in that, since Cisco's work, yeah, it's and so that's just a yeah. natural way that we can partner with yeah. IBM and SaltStack so. and extend those capabilities to run yeah. either either through a proxy meeting or on box, just because of yeah. the wide nature of how many networking devices you yeah. might need to manage. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. when's the breakout session? That's good. Yeah, so if you want to hear out why that's important to us to have it run on box, uh, we're going to do a breakout session at 1045 in room 251 EF, and that's where you can get the details about it how we're setting up SALT and deploying a bunch of SALT proxy minions and now, uh, with their help, minions on box and how Mike has done the work that he's done. Awesome, all right, thanks. Cool, thank you very much. <laughs>